market. We How are, are we still, friends? How are, I, because honestly, I we think you say that weekly. Yeah. Is it because of bourbon? Is that the only I bring us together? I bring us together. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Continue. I I say, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be quiet for 10 seconds. Go for it. Chuck's money brings us reduce. together. He buys expensive bourbon. We drink it. It's a wonderful relationship. If you can find your own version of that relationship, I highly <laughs> recommend it. We were friends pre me buying bourbon. So yeah. we highly recommend you find your Chuck. Yeah. What you do is you find a friend that makes a lot of money. You become friends with them pre them making a lot of money. Then once they make a lot of money, play the you, long game. <laughs> you find a <laughs> hobby you, you can't afford and you get them hooked on that hobby. That's what I did. So I can't afford <laughs> bourbon prices. So I get Chuck interested in bourbon. You get, I didn't buy you it. Well, I bought you one of those bottles in your background. Those 110 bottles back there. Yeah, I did not I'm buy. Saying, I bought yeah. 1%. Me, meanwhile, I'm, I'm friends with Chuck out of just mutual respect. I was going to say, let's go back to our average bottle cost because I know we are both data people and we do that. My average bottle cost is $45. What's your average bottle cost, sir? $77.56. Thank you very much. Point taken. Does anyone want to know mine? $23.45. 23 that's high. I'm taking the under. <laughs> that's probably high. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode with our bracket. So the last episode, if you haven't watched it, I'll link it right above. That is the East section of our bracket, sticking with the uh, March Madness theme. And this time we're going directly underneath, which is the West section. So these two right here that we're gonna start with is our number four versus our number 13. So it is Henry McKenna, and as everyone knows, or if you don't know, we'll give you a little bit of info. Henry McKenna is a single barrel on top of being a bottled and bond. So we've actually in our bracket got Henry McKenna twice. I've got my own bottle. Chuck has his bottle. Three years from now, when we do this again, Brian will have his first ever bottle. Um, and so this is Chuck's Henry McKenna, and we're going to take that and it's going to go up against a everyday drinker that has high accolades which is the evan williams uh bottled and bond out of uh, heaven hill which if you watched our last video you saw that heaven hill is the clear number one uh and it's the one that's got to come up and get beat and there are a lot of heaven hills actually both of these are heaven hill products now that i think about it so we have two heaven hills going against each other and we'll see which one wins so I'm pretty so excited. I, so I predict Heaven Hill will win. And I predict it's 100 proof. Uh, I, I predict a bottle and bond is going to win this. Ooh. For the first time, we're all going to be right. Yep. You know, I'm... We can you know what I smell on the nose of these? <laughs> I'm, I, I, might be, I, I might be smelling upset right here on those oh, noses. No, no way. No. One this nose got is... Oak. Like, yeah. this tells me age. This is... Yeah. Thank goodness TJ's here to anchor the reality. And one of these noses is great. One of these noses. Look, I'm just trying to create some drama here. You know, I'm just trying to create some drama. Now, to be fair, keep, keep, I'm trying to keep the mystery alive. To be fair, we yeah, could all be talking about different, like, well, two of us are probably talking about the same, but one of us could be talking about a different one because we have no idea because once again, we're doing this blind. Yeah. So yeah. my number I mean, one here is not the same as TJ or Brian. I mean, who, who knows what Charlie was talking about on any given night? That guy just goes on ooh, all, all of his random tangents all the time. And just I'm done. Makes I, it's not even. Forward. It's not even close. Like <laughs> Chuck's got it. <laughs> got it. Seriously, that, that. like one one has it. Oh yeah. All right. Start so to the, finish. I would say this first like one for me oak and... is good. I'm worried though. At the very end, it's got a little note on the finish that I'm like. Mm. That's that's not for me. Yeah. The, well, the, mm. I think if we're talking about the same one, it's the nose is not special. Um, oh, there's a clear winner. Yep. I hope. I hope. And it's not. Bad. It's just kind of mm. subtle, like really just light in flavors. It comes through maybe with a little bit of a finish. Yeah. So this <laughs> one for me, that's the clear winner. It is. It's got a good nose. It is smooth caramel all the way through. It has a great yep. finish. 
this one is good. Um, it's got a more subtle nose. Um, it's palette's okay. Uh, the finish is all right. But then at the end of the finish, I get a little, I would call it a burnt tire note actually, uh, is what I get on it, uh, which is not as good. Now, I really hope it's gonna go the way I think it is, but it I don't might know. not. We'll see. I, I might be smelling upset here, guys. Did a double check. I've got it right. Yeah, I'm just double checking here. I'm so very I'm happy. sure I'm not going upset. It's not an upset. Oh, the nose is wonderful with the sweet caramel notes and then a yeah. little bit of oak. And that just carries through. Uh, strong finish too. Nice peppery uh, finish. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Ready? Winner is 13. <laughs> Unanimous. Oh, no. No upsets here. I said Evan did you, Williams. Did you, you, did you go Evan Williams? Yeah, I did 13. What? <laughs> Brian, I told thank you, you for saving this bracket. Like, <laughs> what the? I told you the last time I tried your sample no of Penny McKenna, I got a little uh, burnt. Mm plasticky note at the end of it i don't know what it is, is it from the bottle okay I so so, so i gotta say here i'm i'm closer to tj on this than i am charlie yeah like i was actually this is i was very much close. back and forth on these but um, i love oak oh, too so it's just like this, that little bit of oak to me is just nice. lovely yeah no way no way you guys mixed up your samples you're no no you're i did drunk. not go no. home no i am not sir Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. This is called bullying. So there we go. So Heaven Hill, uh, Henry McKenna is the clear favorite. Fred Minnick should enjoy that. Uh, a lot of the haters out there uh, will have a problem with it. But you know what? If you can get Henry McKenna at MSRP, which is like 30 to 40 bucks, it is yeah, hard to beat Henry McKenna. Oh, yeah. Yep. The next two bottles in our West Bracket are two uh well one pretty common bottle and one bottle that you may not have heard of if you're not from the louisville kentucky area uh that we'll see if it holds up and i'm pretty excited so we are going to go with the tried and true bottled and bond if you are first into bottled and bond chances are this is going to be the first bottled and bond product you buy because you've hunted it which as you can see from chuck's screen is eh taylor so one, it comes in a sweet tube, and Brian's got it now. That's like uh, half, like that's half the reason you buy it. Right. Like the tube, right? I would say mine are over my shoulder there. Uh, but yeah, so you buy it because it's in a sweet tube. Sad story for me. I wanted it so bad, I bought it, the single barrel version, over a Elmer T. Lee. I still regret that decision mm. to this day. Um, but I enjoyed it. I drank through it. It was good. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have E.H. Taylor, uh, small batch. So it is the small batch, not single barrel. So, uh, 40 bucks, uh, if you are in the Louisville area or technically Frankfurt area, uh, Buffalo Trace Distillery has it at least once a week where you can pick it up for about 45 bucks. So yes, depending on your market, it may be impossible to find, but if you do get time to go on the, uh, bourbon trail and tour buffalo trace there is a pretty good chance you can find it the other one we're going to do is jts brown so this is another heaven hill product we've had several heaven hill products in this because heaven hill does Already? a lot of bottle and bond stuff so this is a kentucky only uh product uh very good bottled and bond all bought like still haven't had a bad bottled and bond product uh but we are going to put this up against that tater one that everybody goes after which is the eh taylor small batch so we'll see which one uh pulls it out i'm pretty excited did you see you've never had a bad bottle and bond i've never had a bad bottled and bond product chaos. challenge chaos. accepted sir challenge accepted i will Can, cut one for i'm you. pretty sure brian sent us an 80 laws bottled and bond it was not good whoa 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 I don't know about that. Shots fired. We'll have to go back and re we'll have to go back and review our rate our record, which if you are a Patreon member, you get full access you get to. Access to. So just saying. What would you like to say, Chuck? I want to hear your feelings. I'm just gonna drink whiskey. 
Wait, are, are we drinking or talking about films here? Both. That's what we do. That's why we do this. Is, that, is, it, that, is it? Ooh, there is a clear winner on the nose, without a doubt. I'm not so sure after the last matchup what you what you guys are thinking. What I was going to oh. say earlier before Brian interrupted me about 13 times. Um, this is a five seed versus the 12 seed, which is traditionally in March Madness. There's always a 12-5 upset in the bracket. Now, normal, there's four 12-5 matchups, whereas we only have 16 teams in our bracket, so there's only one opportunity. But this could be the upset. Mm. Now that I smell the nose, I don't think so, but... <laughs> There's one that has a clear, like, nose. The other one, yeah. I feel like it's not quite there. There's, there's a subtle. A little hint. bit of a gr grassy note on the one. Yeah. yeah, one of them has a very strong nose that comes through in a pleasant way. The other one, it's like you're just kind of waiting for more from that nose. That maybe should have been our 16 seed. Oh, gosh. Wow. You heard it here first, folks. This might be the most unpleasant one we've had so far. I, I would I, agree. Brian, you and I are. I'm agreeing with Charlie way too much tonight. I don't know what's happened to me. I feel like I feel like I've sold out to the man. I've lost all <laughs> all credibility with the, with, with, the, with the normal person. Come this way. Come this way. <laughs> All I know is I'm going to go get a COVID test tomorrow because to me, there's not like one that's super, super terrible. You should. <laughs> Dang, man. I'm worried about you. First, it was the, you nearly put the, Evan, well, you did choose Kevin Williams over the head there, McKenna. You know, so that should be a new kind of ranking on this. If you can't tell the difference between these noses, you, that's a COVID test alert. That is a perfect COVID test. I can tell the difference. Because wh whichever one this one is, oh, I mean, yeah. that nose is. No, there's one that's a clear yeah. favorite on the nose. And I would even go so far like this is a clear favorite on the palate and the finish. But I'm not saying you're, you're making it seem like one is just way over the other and the other one's just straight trash. Don't drink it at all. And I'm like, I enjoy both. There is a clear favorite for me, but okay. I, I will say I feel like this particular matchup is the widest differential we've had we've had of any of our matchups so far. No. For me, I mean, I think it's close to that for the first matchup, the one sixteen. Yeah. The Heaven Hill versus the the very old. Oh, Barton. see, I, I thought the very old Barton held its own against the Heaven Hill more. No, I just don't know. I'll just yeah. say, to be fair, I have drank a lot of this uh, JTS Brown, and I do enjoy it. So, yeah, I'm getting a. I mean, maybe it's a nutty, but it's like a grassy note on the nose. I mean, I'm assuming I I figure this is the JTS Brown. I've had enough EH Taylor. I know what like yeah, what I, it is. But. I think I know what the EH Taylor like. So this one for me is overall, it's got a good nose. It's got leather. I got some oak. I get caramel. I get a good finish. Everything like that. This one, like, there's something in the nose. I get like, like you were saying, a nutty peanut flavor. Which, like, if I didn't know uh, it wasn't in here, I would think almost it was a Jim Beam product. Yeah, yeah. I get a little bit of a nuttiness, but it's almost like a grass, grassy. I almost feel like it comes through a little bit more on the finish. Yeah, and then on the finish, it it. I get that, what I said with the Henry McKenna, I get like a, a, a burnt plasticky note a little bit uh, in there, which to me, that's just my like unpleasant note. Like something that's off is instantly goes to that note for me because I don't have a super sophisticated palate. But I have a clear winner. We'll keep you around anyway. And the winner is? Five. Five. Woo! We are Five. unanimous. E.H. Taylor makes it through. One more round. Mm. So, favorite. Yeah. That is good. So, again, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the uh, little bell. So then when our next section comes over, which is going to be 
the Midwest, which is my Henry McKenna versus the old tub, which will be a good matchup. Ooh. I am pretty excited about that one. There's our Jim yeah. Beam uh, product. And the 1792 store pick versus New Riff, which I am really excited. I think I think New Riff is going to take it. I think there's going to be our first like real big upset. upset. Um, it would. So yeah, so make sure you watch, and we'll see you next time. Stay neat. Power of bourbon. Literally, like you had like this lead, lead in. <laughs> it was still this lag. Of You're welcome.